So in a world where everybody's using these insane productivity softwares and task managers and to-do lists, I think we definitely need to take a step back and just look at what we have in front of us and that is the Apple Notes application because after using it for years and years and after seeing it evolve, it can do pretty much 95% of what these other softwares are promising and not only that but it's native to the Apple ecosystem and syncs across all of your devices. So in this video I want to talk about some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years with the Apple Notes app that you can start to implement immediately that will help you from all these different facets from productivity to personal and everything in between. So without further ado, let's talk about Apple's most underrated application, the Notes app. Real quick before we begin, I know that Apple's been throwing Apple intelligence at us and of course it's going to go into the Apple Notes application, but I'm going to prioritize the features that are non-Apple intelligence related and if they do have a little bit of AI in them, I will mention it because I want as many people as possible to be able to use these features whether or not they have an Apple intelligence supported device. So now let's get into the first trick which is customizing that toolbar. Well, all right, let's not waste any more time and get into the first new tip, which is going to be to customize your toolbar like I mentioned. So as you can see up here, we have our traditional toolbar and to customize this, just go on your three dots and then click on customize toolbar. And then it's going to go into that wiggle mode that we know so well, whether it's from the home screen or from any other form of customization. And what you can do here is literally just grab one of these and drag it wherever you see fit. So if I want to move it over, I can do that. I can even grab this and move to remove the item so it gets completely removed if it's something you don't deal with too often. And as of right now, these are the only things you can customize, but it is good to know that hopefully eventually there'll be more options to choose from. And then also, if you want to stay as minimal as possible, or maybe you want to remove Apple intelligence completely, you can actually do that directly from this menu. So customizing toolbar is something that not a lot of people know about, but that you can do. The next thing I want to bring up is going to be a settings feature. So if you go into your apps and then go into your note settings and then you scroll all the way down and this is also available in your Apple Pencil settings. But if you go to corner gestures, you can actually decide to bring up a quick note and you can allow your finger to do so. So maybe you don't have an Apple Pencil, but you still want to be able to bring up this shortcut, which is to bring up a quick note. You can actually do that with your finger. So if I go out of here and then left corner swipe, then you'll see that I have a quick note here that will always open up whenever I need it to. And then it'll go into its own categorized list of quick notes that I've started. So you can see here that you can actually bring quick notes and do whatever you want with these quick notes. And it's just a floating window. So you can grab it and move it around and, and you can enlarge it and minimize it as well. Very similar to stage manager. And of course you can annotate with your actual Apple pencil. You can import photos, you can leave links in here. So if I tap on here, it's gonna bring up ESPN, which is what I've saved before. And quick notes could be a powerful tool depending on how you plan on using it. The next feature I want to bring up is going to be in that same light as a quick note, but let's say you do have a blank screen and you're in locked mode, but you have your Apple Pencil and you want to jot down a quick note without having to actually open up the iPad, clicking on the notes application then begin writing. If you have an Apple Pencil and you tap on the screen, it'll bring you directly into an empty note that you can then draw onto or actually take that note down or that idea or whatever the case is. And then you press done and then you can go to all notes, but it will make you go through the unlock process. So if you are somebody else and maybe somebody else is using your iPad and they want to take a quick note, they can still take a quick note, but they won't be able to access any other notes if you are password protected or face ID protected. Now this next one I think is super beneficial for anybody that's maybe in a meeting or maybe at a lecture call and you just want to be able to listen and take notes after the fact. If you go into the little attachment section on your toolbar and then go down to record audio, you can actually record audio directly onto the iPad, directly into your notes application and it'll save as kind of like a little window in there. And what I like about this is that it has multiple functions. Basically, you can not only voice record as you can see that it's doing it live, but you can also live caption. So if I tap on this little caption section right here, it's going to actually caption and dictate everything that I'm writing and actually saying, which is cool to see. And you can continue talking and it'll continue to capture everything you're saying and do it fairly accurately. And then when you're done, just press this little pause button and you can see that it does break it down based on paragraphs or thoughts or whatever it thinks it sees fit. And you might even see this little summary button. Now this summary button is Apple intelligence related. So if you do not have Apple intelligence, this summary button will not show up. You can actually press this and summarize it and use things like the writing tools, which allows you to see exactly what's going on. So maybe if you're in a one hour lecture hall or maybe in a 30 minute meeting and you just want to get the main points after the transcription is done, just press summarize and it'll summarize those main points for you. And then as you can see, when you press done, it'll open up like a little card here, which gives you the transcription down here, a preview and that preview is Apple intelligence related. And finally, you can tap into it to get all the information you need. And not only that, but it's editable. So you can actually grab this control C, we'll press done, go into a new note, press paste, and you can see that it does show up there as an image here, but then also you can do it as a text down here. So if I press enter, enter, 
you can write it down that way. So I think this is an extremely powerful tool in the fact that it's built into the Notes app makes this pretty much limitless. Now this next feature I'm gonna mention isn't really advertised and it's not really a main option, but there's kind of a workaround to it, which I do wanna share because I do think this could be beneficial for a lot of people. So maybe you've been working on this specific node and there's a bunch of images and different things that you wanna throw up. You can actually export this as a PDF directly from the notes application. All you have to do is go into the share button right here and it's gonna say send a copy. And what you're gonna to wanna to do here is press mark up and then you're gonna to wanna to mark up whatever you see fit. So as you can see here, it's gonna let you know exactly what you're gonna turn into a PDF. Of course, it's not going to have the transcription or the voice memo because you can't PDF a voice memo. But once you're done, all you do is you press done here and then you're going to save file to into your files application on my iPad and it's going to save as a PDF. So if I save it there, then I go into my file system. You can see that this new note was saved as a PDF, which is awesome to see. And then funny enough to go full circle, you can actually open it in your notes application, save it. And now that note that you took in the notes application is now a PDF that you can edit as a PDF in the notes application, which goes full circle, which I love to see. And then in that same light, you can actually live annotate specific PDFs and then resave them. So if I grab this, as you can see, this marking that we have right here is from the actual note, but if I want to, I can just tap on here and I can re-annotate. So imagine if I needed to fill in my name or my information, I can just write it there or sign whatever I need to sign, and then it's gonna save as that PDF and you can export it and do whatever you see fit with that. So now the fact that we can deal with PDFs, edit PDFs, autofill PDFs all in the notes application really cannibalizes or kills off a lot of these third party PDF editors that we've been using for years. And I know a big thing with these productivity softwares, especially ones like Notion and things like that, a big perk of it is being able to share with these live, but not only share, but in real time, be able to edit it with other people on different devices. So a great example of this is being able to collaborate on these notes by sharing this sheet. So here I have a to-do list, which is just a grocery list that I have right here. And maybe I wanna share this with my wife or share this with a significant other. All you have to do is press this little share button and instead of send a copy, you're gonna to wanna to press collaborate and then it's gonna send as a link to that desired person. So obviously it's gonna go through your Slack, or your iMessage, your email, whatever the case is. You can even copy it and send it another way and once they have it, then you'll be able to share on this sheet. So once that's done, it's gonna show up in your shared folder and you can see on the top right hand corner that you are sharing it with somebody and you get a bunch of other kind of nuanced details when it comes to the shared sheet. So the latest updates, if there were any updates while you were gone, all activity, so you can see the history of what happened, right? You can see who's being shared with it, how often they're editing it, and then you can also manage that shared note by adding more people, removing people, hiding it, and even copying the link again. So being able to share a note and then collaborate in real time is something that not a lot of people know about. So now this next one is another hidden feature that Apple doesn't talk about, and it's gonna be cascading lists. So as you can see here, when I kind of hover over these different headings, which is a main one, then a subheading, and then regular text, you can see the little down carrot that's going up, and you can actually hide things behind it with cascading lists. And again, it's kind of automatic the way that it does. You can't really turn it on or turn it off. As you can see, I was kind of testing it up here, and then it shows up. You can see that it's cascading here, and then I can open it up more and close it up to maybe hide whatever I'm looking at underneath a certain title. But if you do want to play with cascading lists, you can now do that up to three different layers and three different levels which I think is a welcome addition. And the last one when it comes to organization is the ability to use hashtags to categorize and tag certain notes. So maybe this is gonna be a test one that I wanna add and I can press enter. So now every time I look for something that has a hashtag with test, it'll show up and this one will show up in that list. So use text, so use hashtags to your advantage when it comes to organizing different notes, especially if they're kind of just thrown around and you don't wanna add another big category on the left-hand side over here. When it comes to adding different folders, in your notes application. I think this is a great way to organize notes and categorize them as you see fit. And then I did want to include some features when it came to the Apple Pencil. So if I grab my Apple Pencil, the first one I want to bring up is going to be auto shape recognition. So of course, not all of us can draw perfect circles. So if I try to draw a circle and then hold it down, it'll create an auto shape and then give me a perfect circle as I see fit. And let me know in the comment down below how many shapes you've tested out because of course, you can do things like a square, you can do something like a star even. So if I do something like this, of course it's gonna look very ugly, but if I hold it down, it's gonna make a perfect star. You can even do something like a cloud. And it gives you a nice perfect cloud. So it pretty much just works with shapes, but if I long hold this down like this, it'll give me a perfect line. And you can continue going. Maybe if I wanna do a triangle, hold it down, it gives me a triangle. So overall, this is very beneficial for anybody trying to make perfect shapes, whether they're diagramming, creating an org chart, or whatever the case is. And you can even do something like an arrow, and then it'll give you a perfect arrow in terms of how you actually want it to look like. So 
Overall, I love the auto shape recognition and they keep adding more and more shapes every single year. And then in that same light, there's SmartScribe, which is basically taking your handwriting and making it more legible when it's not. So if I write hello, As you saw, it kind of changed the way that it looks. So it still has the essence of my handwriting, but it's making it way more legible. So if you are collaborating in real time, like we mentioned earlier, people will be able to read your chicken scratch and be able to understand what you're trying to say. And then lastly, I do want to bring up Math Notes, which is technically a calculator feature, but it is built into the Notes application, which is basically being able to solve equations directly in your Notes application. We'll press Solve and it'll give you that. And again, it works mostly with arithmetic. You can't really solve for X, but you can solve equations in real time. So if I wanna maybe edit this and then multiply that by four, then it'll show me in, in real time, change the answer to that. And then of course you can keep going by dividing and multiplying and adding. And then finally, you can actually graph stuff too. So if you have a Y equals X plus four, you can actually give it a second and it should be able to graph it. We'll insert the graph and then it's gonna graph it in real time. And you can even add more so. So let's say I wanna add a parabola in here. Y equals X squared. I'm gonna to add to the existing graph and it'll add that parabola into the existing graph. And then you're able to find out and maybe help you solve problems like being able to find the limit of certain things and being able to find the area of certain angles and different graphs and things like that. So again, I wish math notes was something that I had in high school when I was learning calculus and algebra and geometry and things like that. But those are all the things that I think you should definitely take a look at. And let's finish up this video by getting out of this view. Now that'll just about do it for this video, everybody. And as you saw, the Apple Notes application is probably Apple's most powerful but most underrated application in their ecosystem. It's absolutely free, it's native to the operating system, syncs across all of your Apple devices, and it's just extremely easy to pick up and begin using. Some of my favorite features that we went over is of course the math notes and how I wish math notes was available about 10, 15 years ago. That would have been epic when I was still in school. But having math notes now is still something that I think is absolutely incredible that only get better over time. And even more utility things that being able to pre-fill PDFs and be able to save things as PDFs is always beneficial. So now all that stuff is built into the Apple Notes application so you don't really need to have all those PDF editors as well as those productivity softwares because it's all built into this. But that'll do it everybody. If you did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And leave a comment down below of what your favorite feature is, whether I mentioned it here or it's one that you got, want everybody else to know. And then I'll look, take a look at it in a future video. But that'll do it, everybody. If you want to watch more videos like this one, definitely check out one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.